Hi everyone, just a little encouragement or just a little update for all of you because uh, last week I learned about a not so good news about my health and uh, well, nothing to worry about because it's just a minor, minor thing just make, um, pinalaki ko lang kasi siya in my mind and what happened was um, I went to the doctor and the doctor told me that there's something that um, needs to be removed and then I kept on meditating on that what if this happened what if it becomes worse and all that and then I was reminded of the verse in Joshua verse um, 1 verse 8 and it says there um, study this book of instruction continually meditate on it meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it only then you will prosper and succeed in, succeed in all you do so yun um, and it uh, break my, uh, break, broke my mindset that we should be meditating on God's word more rather than the problems that we are encountering rather than the bad news that we heard or we learned that's why after that um yeah after that i i i counter attack the 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 word of discouragement instead of um curse or instead of uh, making things worse or thinking of about it meditating about it you know sometimes you say as um we tend to be okay but then once in a while, we ask everyone to pray for us. Oh, pray for my health, pray for my my restoration of my family, pray for my uh, pray for my business and all that because my business is going down. But then, at the back of our heads, instead of meditating God's word, we're meditating the, on the problem. That's why it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. But clearly, it says that meditate on God's word day and night, not on your problem. It's like feeding the... Uh, the two dogs which dog yung mananalo right the bad dog or the good dog but then um, we should um, of course feed our faith and starve our starve our doubts so there you go guys um, I hope um, you're encouraged with that so do not meditate on the problem it becomes worse and you'll, you'll worry a lot which is not good so right now just repent and enjoy life I mean, God's word is um, true and alive and active. It will uh, pierce the bones and marrows and it will heal you as well. Um, physically and emotionally and spiritually. Alright? See you guys.